So, can you ski in Turkey? Yes, you can definitely. Yes, you can. Can you ski in Turkey? Yes, for sure you can. Definitely. There are some big ones, some small ones, uh, near ones, far away ones. And you must remember that Turkey is quite a big place. So, the first one, which is quite near, is about 100 kilometers away. Uh, you can drive there with the car, it's a two hours, one and a half, two hours drive. Uh, then you have a few ones where you go generally with the bus over the weekend, for example, uh, or with the car again. Then there are ones where you go with the plane and the maximum uh, how much you fly is actually one and a half hour. That's it. Keep in mind, it's not the Alps, but it's again fun. Uh, and the pists and the resorts are not bad. So the new ones are really new, so very new slopes, uh, new areas, good hotels, I must say. So the hotels, remember that the hotels are very good in, in Turkey. And so are these mountain hotels, definitely. Now I'm going to show you a map of Turkey and where all of these resorts are. And some information for sure and how to get there. So let's have a look at the map. Okay, so first of all, let's find Istanbul. Ah, there it is okay okay so the next one is kartepe kartepe is very near to istanbul so it's very convenient to go there for with the car just 130 kilometers away uh, but be aware it's very full on the weekends as it's the nearest one to istanbul and there are only four pistes uh, which are not that long so it's good only for a weekend or for a very short trip i would say so uluda is the next one uh, this is a mountain uh, in Bursa which is 2,500 2, meters high you've got about four, 24 pists and it's one of the oldest places so it's quite popular so you've got lots of parties uh, upper ski is quite good and for sure it's again very very crowded so as it's near to all the places and you can go again with the car here also convenient nice place Lots of parties, lots of things going on. Next place is Kartalkaya. This is again a place not far away from Istanbul. Uh, you can go there again with car, but most people take the bus uh, over the weekend or for a few days. So they take the bus in the evening, late in the evening, and they'll be there in the morning. It's a place also convenient for families as upper ski is not so much there. It's more an area of hotels and you stay directly at the hotels there. Palandokan is also a very good place. So very new resort, very good pistes. The Youth Federations is doing its Olympics here. Uh, so you can imagine that the pistes are very good. Uh, the flight is about two hours from Istanbul and then you directly get to the mountain basically. And it's one of the highest mountains in Turkey. It's something about 3,100 meters high. And I would strongly suggest if you look for skiing there also to go there. I am going tomorrow to go to Agis, which is in Kayseri. And this is about a 4000 meter high mountain. So also with lots of pistes and a new resort. I'm going to try the, the, this the first time actually. So let's see how it goes. And for sure there are also other ones like Sarıkamış in Kars. Also Davras in Sparta, Sakkelkent near Antalya actually, which I would also recommend, Ilgaz in Kastamonu, Denizli, Ergan in Erzincan, and a couple of others also there. So there's quite the option there to go to. Tomorrow I'm going to Kayseri, to Erges with my friend. And for that I'm going to wake up early in the morning so the plane will be something like 7 30 something like that and we will be in kayseri uh, airport something like 8 30 ish something like that plan is to go directly to the hotel and afterwards up to the mountain then well see you in the morning so change of plan the plane was cancelled and no other plane available so we can't go to Kayseri unfortunately Erzurum also full fully booked out 
So what we decided to do is drive with the car to Kartal Tepe. No, not Kartal Tepe. Kartal Kaya. This will be a three hour drive. We have a hotel down in the city, not directly in the hotel, on the mountain. Uh, but from there, from the city, it's just half an hour drive. So, see you there on the road. It's six o'clock in the morning and we are on the road with my friend Kira now to the direction of Bolu but for sure as it's quite early uh, we didn't have any breakfast so we will have some breakfast now near Sakarya uh, this will be a small breakfast and the place we are mostly going on this route is a restaurant called Daceste uh, they are selling all kinds of stuff like Turkish sausages, nuts and other kind of good goody stuffs and uh, here we're going to stop have a small breakfast normally you can also have a quite big breakfast here so uh, but we will not have that since it's eight o'clock now and we don't want to lose any more time so quick breakfast as i said and afterwards after 15 minutes we are again on the road now we have arrived at Bolu, it's 10 o'clock uh, and we are at the junction to the mountain. So we're talking now the uh, mountain road and here the snow will directly start, so directly into the winterland. Uh, quite new, nice view I must say. We'll go into that uh, and after half an hour road we should be arriving at the hotel which is not directly at the mountain but about five kilometers before the peak of the mountain uh, so it's quite convenient there and i will show you also the hotel a little bit this valley is the junction to the mountain and to the hotel so it's quite nice valley here have a look First we are going to stop at the hotel, leave our bags and everything basically, we don't want to carry everything back to the mountain, up to the mountain. So this is the hotel, we're going to stay here two nights, uh, it's inexpensive I must say, uh, breakfast and evening included uh, per person is about 350 Turkish Liras which is quite good I must say and the hotel is also quite good breakfast and evening is open buffet uh, it's quite nice uh, Turkish buffet I must say so you will enjoy it I can tell you that it's now 10 30 and we are at the top of the mountain so you got basically two areas here just well, you have four hotels, uh, two hotels on one side, two hotels on the other side, and they have separated pistes. So I will show you, first of all, the left side, where you can see the map of all the pistes. And you can also see now the right side, which is also a different area. And if you combine these two maps, basically, you can see the whole area. For both areas, you have to get uh, separate uh, daily cards I think they couldn't agree somehow and they separated these this is since years now like this nothing to do about it but each side is quite enough to uh, ski the whole day so it doesn't matter basically the first day we will uh, ski on the left side and the second day we will ski on the right side don't be fooled about the black pists. They're not really the black pists you know from Europe. They're much more easier. Uh, but I would say you would much more enjoy the red pists, which are uh, wider, better. And the black pists are just narrow, I must say. Steep and narrow. And uh, because of the snowboarding, guys, this is not quite good, these pists, I must say. So I would tell you, take the red ones. On each side you also have uh, some cafes so one cafe on one side one cafe on the other side they're quite similar I must say both of them 
Uh, also, what is quite similar are the prices. So keep in mind that these are at least 50% more what you pay in Istanbul, which is normal for a mountain coffee, as I must say, like everywhere else. I must say that we are quite lucky with the weather. So some nice weather, some sun. In the afternoon, we had some cloudy weather, but that's acceptable, I would say. Uh, also, as we are going within the week, so on Thursday and Friday, it's not that crowded. Uh, Friday is a little bit more crowded as usual, but the weekend is definitely more crowded and we will not stay there on the weekend. So that should be enough for us. The second day, starting with breakfast, as you can see. Uh, quite nice one, we are quite full. And now we're going up to the mountain again for the right hand side pistes now. So this is also the cafe from the right hand side. Also quite nice as we are lucky with also the weather so we can sit outside. Great I must say. Prices again at least 50% more but if you have some applications from the local phone provider Tuxel you get some 20% reductions and on the warm beverages you get them for free at least for once. Back at the hotel again, taking some pictures from the hotel. Also this evening we're going to have some whiskey which we brought with us. So that will be a little bit fun there. And now we're on the way back. Uh, quite lucky because now we have some storm ongoing here. It's starting to snow on the mountain. And I must say we're quite lucky. So we had the good weather and we leave them with the bad weather. <laughs> Meanwhile you can see some guys on the roadside. These guys will rent you some snow chains and put them on and off for about 20 Turkish Liras. But if you have some good weather, don't be fooled by them. Back at the foot of the mountain, going through the village. And now we are leaving Bolu and going back to the road to Istanbul again. Okay, hello back again. So we left Bolu something about 8.30 and now it's about three o'clock quite tight i hope you liked our little trip and had fun and also found it quite informative i hope so we had some bad luck with kaiseri uh, as our flight was cancelled as you remember so that wasn't we had to change our plans uh, last minute but it worked out fine and i must say uh, we were also a bit lucky because as it seems there is a blizzard at kaiseri so we would not be able to ski and therefore we had some good two days at bolu nice so turned out good how much did we pay for it so for these two nights uh, how much did we pay for a night uh, we paid about 350 turkish liras uh, for one night which includes breakfast and dinner uh, with an open buffet so in total with also city tax uh, I paid about for two nights 750 Turkish Liras then uh, per day for the daily lift uh, I paid about 150, 150 Turkish Liras so in total, we sum it up to about 1050 Turkish Liras. <coughs> also not to forget, uh, you have to pay about 100 Turkish Lira for the ski rental. So in total, we have a yeah, 1250 Turkish Liras, which is translated into dollars, something about $200. So quite good, I must say. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it put a thumbs up and see you in the next episode. Thank you very much.